Hey, music lovers! I'm DJ Luna, spinning the decks at our local music festival this Saturday. Drop by for some epic beats and unforgettable vibes. Let's dance under the stars together. Hello, kids. I'm Lily the Fairy, and I'm here to talk about honesty. Telling the truth is like spreading fairy dust. It makes everything better. Let's promise to always be honest with each other. In the weightless embrace of space, Captain Croc, the intrepid crocodile astronaut, finds himself yearning for something more. Every movement, every adjustment of his webbed feet, demonstrates Captain Croc's mastery of navigating the endless cosmic sea. Deep within his scaly heart, a yearning grows, an ache for something beyond the cold and vast expanse of the cosmos. Born of his yearning, a celestial phenomenon materializes before Captain Croc's eyes, an iridescent, swirling portal. With curiosity sparking within his reptilian heart, the astronaut contemplates the unknown that lies beyond the portal's captivating fluctuations. Now, without hesitation, Captain Croc takes the plunge, swimming through the portal's radiant embrace, his heart filled with anticipation. Emerging from the celestial portal, the lone explorer finds himself in an unexpected place, a vibrant and bustling tea party hosted by friendly extraterrestrial penguins. Silence falls on the tea party. A brave penguin addresses the reptilian intruder. Hey, how's it hanging? He asks. And so Captain Croc immerses himself in conversation, laughter, and a sense of camaraderie with the otherworldly penguins. Sometimes the most extraordinary adventures are found in the unlikeliest corners of the universe. Mia feels a bit lost when it comes to making friends, but one thing she knows for sure is that she loves cats more than anything. Just look at her room. It's filled with lots of cat toys and drawings of cats. It's like a cat wonderland that shows how much she loves them. One rainy afternoon, Mia sits in her room looking out the window. She feels very lonely and wishes she had friends to play with. Suddenly, Mia hears a little kitty crying. She looks up and sees a scared kitten stuck high in a tree. She knows she has to help it. All the other kids are watching Mia climb. They can't believe what she's doing. They're really surprised to see shy Mia being so brave. Mia climbed down the tree and the kitten was rescued. Three cheers for Mia, shouted the kids. The next day, all the kids are talking about how brave Mia was. They call her Mia the Brave. She's now a little hero and she looks very happy. Mia is not lonely anymore. She's playing and laughing with her new friends on the playground. She's really happy now and she feels like she belongs. At dawn, little Noor, a bright-eyed girl from a rural village, finds a forgotten, dilapidated textbook in the dusty corner of her attic. Her heart soars at the thought of the new world hiding within its pages, only to crash when her brother snatches it away, claiming books are not for girls. Against all odds, she steals the book back, nor secretly reads the book by the dim light of her oil lamp at night. Noor's secret comes to light, her father finding her asleep, the book clutched tight in her arms. He takes a moment and then makes a choice. The next morning, Noor, with a worn-out book in hand, walks alongside her brother to school. Ho, ho, Anna! I check my list twice, and guess what? Not only are you on the nice list, but you're at the top. I hope your Christmas is as fun as a snowball fight and as sweet as the candy canes from my workshop. Merry Christmas! One particularly dreary Wednesday afternoon, Max was in his bedroom with his neighbor Cassie and his favorite plush toy, Rex the Formidable Dinosaur. The weather was not to Max's liking. Look at all those puddles. I bet it's fun splashing around. Puddles are wet. Hey, you have a science kit. Yeah, science is great, but it's not as fun as splashing. Remember your time travel watch, Max? You have a time travel watch? Um, no, it's just a toy. Why don't you try it on? It's not like it's going to do anything. Let's open that science kit. Okay, I'll try on the watch. Ready? Now use your imagination. It's not science. But it can be magic. I guess sometimes imagination beats science. And so it was that the three young explorers went on their great adventure. I promise to tell you all about it the next time. Oh, hey there, matey. 
means Captain Blackbeard, if ye be brave enough, venture into yonder maze and find the hidden treasure. But beware, it's not for the faint of heart. My name is Linda, a spaceship commander. I start my day in the command room where coffee meets cosmic decisions. Today's agenda, avoid black holes and board meetings. After the morning brief, I talk to my plants in the garden. They're great listeners, unlike my crew sometimes. Midday means teaching bright minds about space navigation. Lesson one, don't crash into a planet. Back in the pilot seat for a quick jaunt around Jupiter, it's like driving a cosmic convertible without the hair mess. Before wrapping up the day, I gotta do some bakery, which is like space travel. One wrong move and it's all just a hot mess. But at least here, the worst outcome is a burnt cookie. Hey, Eco Warriors, it's Emily. Want to make your lifestyle greener? Let me show you some easy swaps for a more sustainable home. It's all about small changes with big impacts. Stay green and stay tuned. Hello, healthy foodies. I'm Chef Nina, here to spice up your meals with nutrition and flavor. Today's tip, balance is key. I'll guide you through delicious, wholesome recipes that are as good for your body as they are for your taste buds. Hello there, wise spenders. Grandpa George here to share some wisdom on managing your pennies. Remember, it's not about how much you make, but how you make it count. Let's dive into some budgeting tricks that have stood the test of time. Hey, Eco Warriors, it's Emily. Want to make your lifestyle greener? Let me show you some easy swaps for a more sustainable home. It's all about small changes with big impacts. Stay green and stay tuned. <laughs> 